Hello and welcome to 1000 Verses Bible Quiz Channel. Today we have carefully chosen and organized 15 challenging questions to test how well you know the Bible. Before you start the quiz, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our next episode. Give your comment about the quiz and how you've scored in the comment section below. Are you ready? Let's get started. Question 1. Who restored Paul's sight after the Lord blinded him? Peter Luke Ananias Matthew The answer is Ananias Acts chapter 9 Verses 17 to 18. Then Ananias went to the house and entered it. Placing his hands on Saul, he said, Brother Saul, the Lord, Jesus, who appeared to you on the road as you were coming here, has sent me so that you may see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, something like scales fell from Saul's eyes, and he could see again. Question 2. How were the children of Israel guided in their forty years of wandering in the wilderness? By a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. By the voice of God. By Moses. By Aaron's rod. The answer is by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Exodus chapter 13 verse 21 By day the Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud to guide them on their way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, so that they could travel by day or night. Question 3 how did Paul escape Damascus when the Jews were trying to kill him? He was let down from the city walls in a basket. An angel lifted him out. An earthquake created the means of escape. Silas came to his rescue. The answer is... He was let down from the city walls in a basket. Acts chapter 9, verse 25 There was a conspiracy among the Jews to kill him, but Saul learned of their plan. Day and night they kept close watch on the city gates in order to kill him, but his followers took him by night and lowered him in a basket through an opening in the wall. Question 4. By whom were the children of Israel carried captive into Assyria? Nebuchadnezzar Tiglath-Pileser Darius Ahaz The answer is Tiglath-Pileser 2 Kings Chapter 15, verse 29. In the time of Pekah king of Israel, Tiglath Pileser king of Assyria came and took Ejon, Abel Beth Makkah, Genoa, Kadesh, and Hazor. He took Gilead and Galilee, including all the land of Naphtali, and deported the people to Assyria. Question 5. Where was Paul stoned? Melita, Damascus, Galilee, Lystra. The answer is Alistra. Acts chapter 14, verse 19. In Lystra there sat a man who was lame. He had been that way from birth and had never walked. At that, the man jumped up and began to walk. Then some Jews came from Antioch. They stoned Paul and dragged him outside the city, thinking he was dead. 
Question 6. How long did the children of Israel journey in the wilderness of Shur before they found water? 5 days 15 days 3 days 7 days The answer is 3 days Exodus chapter 15 verse 22 Then Moses led Israel from the Red Sea and they went into the desert of Shur for 3 days they traveled in the desert without finding water Question 7 Where was an altar erected to the unknown god Athens Capernaum Thessalonica Jericho The answer is Athens Acts chapter 17 verses 16 to 23 While Paul was waiting for them in Athens he was greatly distressed to see that the city was full of idols Paul then stood up in the meeting of the Areopagus and said, I even found an altar with this inscription, to an unknown god. Question 8. Upon what mountain was Israel cursed for disobedience? Mount Moriah Mount Zion Mount Carmel Mount Ebal The answer is Mount Ebal. Deuteronomy chapter 27 verse 13. And these tribes shall stand on Mount Ebal to pronounce curses, Reuben, Gad, Asher, Zebulun, Dan, and Naphtali. Question 9. Which Athenian judge was converted under Paul's preaching? Eunice. Candace, Eubulus, Dionysius. The answer is Dionysius. Acts chapter 17, verse 34. Dionysius, referred to as the Areopagite, a member of the Areopagus Council which was a prominent judicial body in ancient Athens. The Areopagus Council dealt with various matters, including religious and moral issues, as well as certain legal cases. Question 10. What does Paul say is the fulfillment of the law? Righteousness Patience Faith Love The answer is love. Romans chapter 13, verse 10. Love does no harm to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfillment of the law. Question 11. What was Paul's occupation? Carpentry. Tent making. Stonemasonry. Fishing. The answer is Tent Making Acts chapter 18, verse 3 After this, Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There he met a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla. Paul went to see them, and because he was a tent maker as they were, he stayed and worked with them. Question 12. Who was the chief of the three mighty men of David? Jonathan Benaiah Joshua Bashabeth Abishai
The answer is Josheb Bashabeth. 2 Samuel, chapter 23, verse 8. These are the names of David's mighty warriors. Josheb Bashabeth, a Tachemanite, was chief of the three. He raised his spear against 800 men, whom he killed in one encounter. Question 13. Prior to raising Eutychus from the dead, Paul preached a lengthy sermon. At what hour did he end his sermon? Early morning. Mid-afternoon. Late evening. Midnight. The answer is Midnight. Acts chapter 20, verse 7. On the first day of the week, we came together to break bread. Paul spoke to the people and, because he intended to leave the next day, kept on talking until midnight. Question 14. What was the total number of the children of Israel that went down to Egypt? 1,000 70 53 560 The answer is 70. Genesis chapter 46, verse 27. With the two sons who had been born to Joseph in Egypt, the members of Jacob's family, which went to Egypt, were 70 in all. Question 15. How long were the children of Israel in Egypt? 150 years. 40 years, 215 years, 430 years. The answer is 430 years. Exodus chapter 12 verse 40. Now the length of time the Israelite people lived in Egypt was 430 years. Congratulations, you did it. You completed our Bible quiz. If you enjoyed the This Bible Quiz, give it thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to share what you've learned about God's Word with family and friends.